For the last time, Parker, our pronouns are they, them. Not because we are non-binary, but because we are literally two niggas. Hey guys and welcome back to this run of the mill episode of Raiding the Suits. And in today's episode we'll be finally getting into Ultimate Spider-Man. Skip to these timestamps if you want to get right into the suits or just, you know, want to hear my thoughts. Or just go for this video, it's there for you. I've been super excited to play this game. Not only for the fact that you get to play as Venom and how awesome this game looks, but the setting they chose for the game is from the Ultimate Universe. Earth 1610, where Miles Morales was born into existence. And nothing bad at all happened in this universe. Wow, a lot of bad stuff happened. Um, but uh, I can't get any worse than oh fuck. Besides all the depressing death and the super maniacal, psychotic Reed Richard Richards, which is uh, one of my favorite villains, this game follows the plot of Peter and Eddie Brock, but very loosely and not all that accurately. Even if it doesn't, um, this game is a very fun time to play, and I enjoyed the story. And it's the game that introduced me to Venom. I'm pretty sure, besides Spider-Man 3. So with nothing else to say, how about we jump right into the game and how much of a cool experience it was to play it. Oh and of course thanks for anybody who's like came by and you know chatted with me and said some heinous shit which I absolutely love, um thank you. Alright cue the transition. Oh my god! This game was as cool as I remembered it to be so. When it was said and done, I decided to go read the Ultimate Spider-Man comics myself. I really should have read it beforehand, but hey, here we are. It really made me fall in love with Spider-Man all over again. It also made me see the differences between the game and the comics and what they chose to implement and what they chose to not implement. Like how they decided to use Carnage for the cool climax in the finale, but in the comics it's not actually Peter, it's just its own like entity drawn from the blood from Peter from Dr. Connors. Or how Venom never fought Electro in the comics, I think it was just Peter. And how Spider-Man never fought the Rhino until many chapters later, like many chapters later. And when he tried to fight the Rhino for the first time, Iron Man had to uh, kind of clean it up for him because he was getting he was he was late. And the reason I bring all this up is because my most favorite part of this entire game is the intro. And when I read the comics, they actually ripped some stuff from the pages onto the game, and it it was so cool. Like this beginning shot is literally ripped right from the page. Although it's a little different and I'm not sure if they made it themselves or something. Even the lines too are kind of ripped word for word. Our fathers died to create me. And now you will too. And god that Venom voice is so good. Arthur Burghardt did a fantastic job on this Venom voice and it makes me think about this particular Venom for such a long time. I, I just I just love that voice so much. And I actually really enjoyed the whiny sounding uh, voice of Peter, Sean Marquette. Oh, and here's another cool shot from the comic as well. Even though we don't get to see the Avengers, who are called the Ultimates in this universe, um, we get to see Wolverine, Johnny Storm, Johnny who the fuck is this guy? And Mace Windu, I mean Nick Fury. No, wait, there you go. The swinging is a lot more simplified and I actually had fun with it. You can also climb up your webs too, which is pretty neat. And of course being able to play as Venom and murder a child in your tutorial is uh, pretty good. It is so much fun to play as him and just fucking kill people. It makes you think if we're actually going to be able to play as Venom in Spider-Man 2. But uh, hey, that's just wishful thinking. Okay, I'm calling it now. You're going to be able, you're gonna be able to play as Venom as like a story sequence or, or something. Or maybe you're going to be, be able to play as Venom in the DLC. Or ca calling it here right now. Calling it now. And lastly, um, the presentation and music in this game is so fucking good. Like the comic panel cutscenes. Mmm, just mmm, good. And the music, oh. I'm gonna pick out some tracks in like the last game because th this game goes hard with the music. This track that plays during the Rhino fight and the Green Goblin fight is so good and goes hard. Like, oh shit, 
it's getting serious. There's also the Venom fighting team, which I got a good mention too because it uses bongos and stuff, and it weirdly fits. Like, for, to me at least. And then later in the song, it just ramps up more and more until it gets to this like weird synthesizer part that I can't make out, but I, I like it. And I'm just gonna pick out one more track so we can get right into the suits. Uh, this this one from the last fight where you fight Venom is pretty good as well. But yeah, uh, don't want to waste your time, you know, picking out more banging tunes, but you, you get the gist. So how about we finally get into these, uh, cool ass suits. Wow, I wonder how many there are. Oh, oh boy. Alright, I know you skipped to this part, um, it's okay, but you know what I haven't done? Is, uh, seen the combined, uh, costumes in each game, so how much, how, how many costumes does this game offer? Six costumes, um, okay, that's... Kind of not a lot, but it's okay. It's not, it's not bad. Oh, what, what, how, how many did the other games offer? All right, so if we're not counting the main costume you wear throughout the game, right? And I'm not counting the armored suit you get in the PlayStation 1 games because I consider that as an upgrade and you can't really wear it whenever you want. There's eight costumes in the first game. There's eight new costumes in the second game. However, if you want to really add up the numbers, they brought back the eight costumes from the first game. So it all adds up to 16 costumes. Two alternative costumes for Spider-Man in Spider-Man 1. And in Spider-Man 2, um, nothing. Which is fine, it's fine. As always, we start with the main suit. And it's a pretty cool costume based right off the comic from this skinny ass kid. In this universe, he doesn't make his own costume. He actually got this costume made for his wrestling career. So this is the wrestling Spider-Man. But then he put some webs on it, some Spidey emblems, and boom, Spider-Man. Proper Spider-Man. Pretty much a one-to-one -one from the pages. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm into the skinny physique, right? Uh, I'm into the cool Spidey symbols and the kind of edgy back symbol too. It's like kind of edgy. Although I noticed in the comics that there is no like web lining going through the chest symbol, but you know what, it's whatever, I, I don't mind. The lenses can be a bit too goofy at times, like a bit too big, bug-eyed, but in certain cutscenes they look pretty good. You, you know me, I like my big lenses. I'm not really too sure what else to say, I guess it all depends whether you're into skinny Peter or, you know, big body Peter, you know? But all that being said, they really didn't, you know, screw this up, you know, it looks just like from the comics. It looks good in this game, and yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna put it to a 10. I, I feel like I'm putting a lot of costumes at a 10, but like, I, I mean, I, I don't know. 
it's just it's just perfect to me so yeah 10 there you go cool Phew. all right let's finally see some of the alternate costumes oh it's just peter in a hoodie from the intro okay um yeah yeah, yeah i guess sure wait that means the other costume is just peter parker then right so there isn't six costumes there's just technically five Actually, four, because they're both Peter Parker, and one is just wearing a hoodie. Like, what, what do you want me to- what, what do you want me to do there? Okay, there's actually a reason why there isn't as many costumes. It's because this game was kind of, like, made in a year, I believe, or something like that. So, it kind of stinks, and we're stuck with Peter Parker and hoodie Peter Parker. Cool. <laughs> but, oh, uh, uh, well, man. Um... Since I'm kind of stuck here in the Jimmy, how about we just sweep this one away? You look that way, I look this way, and we'll actually get onto some costumes, okay? Alright, sounds good. Alright, alright, what's what's the next costume? Oh, it's the wrestling suit. <laughs> I mean, um, it's pretty much the main Spidey suit just without the webs or the emblems. Like, um, <laughs> what do you want me to say about this one now? It was pretty much the easiest costume pick of the century here for the developers and I don't blame them but like how do I go about rating this? It's pretty much accurate to the comic. It kind of reminds me of you know the PlayStation 1 Spider-Man where they didn't have webbing but that game also had emblems on there too. You know blurry as hell but it was there. From a development standpoint it was pretty easy to implement but as a costume overall it's like eh or okay. It was pretty cool to see him still wearing this and like saving lives before going into his actual main suit in the comics but in this game like you have to beat it. You have to beat the game in order to unlock the costumes and then like well cool here's this one. Let's let's just move on. Let's go on to an actual cooler costume. How about that? Let's how about the black suit right? How about that one? Oh come on man! Well, I'm still gonna talk about it anyways, and since we're talking about the suit, we're also gonna lump in Venom here as well. So, in the Ultimate Universe, the Venom symbiote isn't an alien or anything like that. It's actually something made to, you know, possibly cure cancer, maybe kill it. So, somebody will wear this and it'll kill cancer in them, I guess. From the looks alone, it's it pretty much looks just like its 616 counterpart, except for, you know, the bigger eyes because of this Spider-Man. However, it has that cool-ass shade of purple that I just adore very much. I prefer the purple shade more than the blue one. It especially looks sick on Venom too, when you uh, play as him around. And it's even cooler looking on Peter as well, except when you get the costume, you don't have anything else to do afterwards, so you're kind of just stuck with the costume and like, just your dick in your hand. Except for this guy, I don't know how he managed to play missions with this costume on, but uh, hey, that's cool. But hey, let's talk about Venom instead now and rate them both afterwards. And if you're wondering, um, he does not get the Spidey symbol in the comics at all. He does not get it. They may lie to you in the front page, like right right at you, like, oh shit, look look at him with the cool ass Spidey symbol, but he, he, he doesn't get it ever. Which is just, I don't know, man. I, he, he just feels naked without, you know, the symbol on him, you know? So at least in this game, they actually give it to him and you get the free roam when you finally beat the game with him with the symbol on. So that's pretty, that's pretty dang cool. Unless you're into the fucking Tom Hardy Venom naked thing going on, then you know what? You do you. You do you. So yeah, you, you know what's coming. Let's, let's just get this over it, alright? Venom with the purple shade and the spidey symbols. 10. What did, what did the kids say these days? Peak? Yeah, it's, it's peak Venom. <clears throat> and black suit spidey or the suit on Peter Parker is, of course, uh, a 10. Oh, right, and for the naked Venom, I'll put it at a 6. Because, you know, the purple is really carrying him hard here, and he's still pretty menacing as all hell. Alright, well, I think that's all the costumes. Oh, wait a minute. There's an actual, alternative, different costume in this game. So, uh, let's let's check that out. So, normally, I would be like, What is this shit? But we're in a rare circumstance where there isn't a ton of costumes to offer. So when there's a costume like this, it's kind of like neat looking, you know? 
and the origin of this costume is when they were trying to make a movie based off of Spider-Man. So they made this Arachno-Man guy, and you know, Spidey got really pissed and shit. Which is strange because when I read the the comic, they used Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi. So if somebody could explain that, uh, please let me know. So usually this would be an ugly costume to wear and stuff. But like I said earlier, this is like the neatest costume there is in this game. And you can get this before the black suit because to get the black suit, you need to 100% complete the game. And like, good luck getting all the tokens and doing all the races and all the Johnny Storm bullshit. But with the Arachno Man outfit, sure it may have a terrible color palette and weird eyes and no symbols on, on it at all. But it provides the most uh, unique costume that you can get in this game. And uh, you know, that's that's saying something, okay? So without further ado, Arachno Man, you, you're gonna be at a 7. You're a neat costume in this game with not very much costumes to offer. Good job, lucky bastard. And with that, we conclude this episode of Raiding the Suits. Wow, what a shit show. I'm sorry. It kind of went downhill from, from there. But uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little funny. I hope I provided the charm. Um, and don't miss out next time when I stream Spider-Man 3. Or just come on by, because I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. Unless you don't want spoilers, then I totally uh, got you. Alright, see you later, guys. Oh god, how the fuck am I going to play Spider-Man 3?